All right, this thing working. Yeah, it looks like it's working. All right. So, Dwarf Fortress game. Uh, it's a game that I have played in the past. Uh, I have generally gotten lost, confused, killed, whatever. Uh, some of it because the systems in the game are often crazy, and sometimes because I'm just not a very patient man. Uh, so, with the new release on Steam, with the built-in GUI and the mouse controls and all that other good stuff, I think it's time to, to give it a go. So, I'm going to start... I, this is actually the third computer I'm doing a start on. I, I tested it on my Linux laptop, just for giggles. I've played it a bit on the Steam Deck, and now, ironically, on the gaming rig. This is the, this is the first playthrough. So, what we'll do is we'll generate a world, and I think I'm going to go with the default settings. World map, world size is fine, history, fine, fine, blah, and lots of minerals, that's awesome. So. Now, if you don't know Dwarf Fortress, uh, what, what you have to do is, is it procedurally generates the world for you. Uh, it, it's really flipping elaborate. There'll be civilizations, there'll be wildlife, there'll be biomes. Some of them are scary, some of them are not. Um, and then you embark with your dwarves to try and to try and create a, a mountain home. You start as a, as a small colony, and over time you either rise to essentially the dwarven capital or you die horribly. The cool thing is that when you do when your, when your fortress, when you either abandon the fortress or uh, it gets destroyed, you can then uh, start a fortress in the same world, which is actually kind of cool. Now, what I'm debating doing here, I'm debating trying to start near a volcano because someone else was playing on Twitch that that was harnessing harnessing the, the magma and that looked really intriguing but I don't know how I feel about that alright so we're going to play now but I do see there's a big flipping volcano in one section of the world yeah so this is actually it's saving the world <sighs> please save us and then I'll be able to kick off a game. So you can play a version of the game called Legends where that's literally like reading the history of the world and learning about the civilizations that rose and fell. I, I don't have time for that in my life. Adventurer is like NetHack, but in the Jor Fortress world. And the fun thing about that is that once you have some, some fortresses that have fallen, you can actually adventure in them <laughs> in that mode but the mode that most of us know the game for is fortress mode where we start and try and build a civilization so it burns two weeks on the calendar and then i've done the tutorial and i don't feel like doing the tutorial because it puts you where you where it wants to put you so we're just gonna we're going to embark uh we're going to embark where i want to this is the little warning about don't don't go somewhere stupid. Good advice. And then we're going to scroll around the world a little bit and try and find a good place. All right. So this right here, as I hover over each icon, you can see that there's, like, some of them are, are, are civilized already. Oh, man. I really, really am tempted to settle down near this volcano. There are goblins hostile to... You know what? What if we go here? Oh, look at that. So... Click Embark to... Alright, so what do we... If we go here, that's a mountain. What if we go here where there's some wood? 
Okay. Hmm. This is so tempting. All right. Let's see what the embark covers. So I could definitely get the volcano in there, but I'd also have wood. Hmm. That might have to be the way I do this. So some wood, but the volcano. I'm doing this. All right, and then we're just gonna we're gonna embark with a standard expedition. I don't want to micromanage that. Let's see what I've been dealt. The hand I've been dealt. All right, I have arrived. Glory of Limelson, like these names and stuff are all procedurally uh, generated. All right, Kigeb, net dented. Okay. Well. So this is my outpost, net dented. I'm paused, there's my dwarves. If I scroll, look at that, glorious, glorious magma. Which I can use to power furnaces. So that's gonna be, wow, this, I, I know I'm gonna get in so much trouble with it. So let's center on my wagon. So I think the thing to do here is probably start some digging. So we're gonna dig into this map. Bring a small hallway here. Can I dig there? No, I can't dig there. Because that's, okay. I've never tried it this way. So we're just going to dig into this mountain a little bit. Okay, so that's a wall. Okay. Now in the game, you can go up and down levels. i got to remember how to do that. That's zooming. Oh, the mouse seems to bring me up and down levels. Elevation 30, elevation 40. The volcano is pretty high. Oh, this is going to be fascinating if I actually am able to pull this off. All right. So I think for now we're going to dig into the mountain and worry about the volcano stuff later. Do a hallway there, and then I'm going to make I'm going to make a meeting room here. The game's not running right now. I'm actually doing a little bit of planning to try and make sure that uh, my things all have. Uh, all right. And then we're gonna go, we're gonna make a pasture for my grazing animals. This whole section right out here in the front is the pasture. And zones are how you get a lot of control out of the game. They really let, they let you designate places for things to happen. I'm also going to make a zone. I don't need a zone for that. I need a stockpile. We're going to make a stockpile down here. And then this is going to be refuse. We're going to customize that. We're going to dump all the garbage there. But we're also going to put all the corpses. So the problem is when things die, they get stinky. Like my, my, my daughter's cat. So we want to make sure that there's a place for the dwarves to dump all that garbage. And yeah, they're not, they're not that ecological. So before I unpause it, let's get some wood. We're going to start chopping some wood. Cut down some of these trees. Because we will need wood for certain things. And then we're gonna also tell the dwarves, hey, let's let's gather. Let's gather some, some some berries and other stuff like that for food. Because while I do have some supplies, I got off to a slow start with my last save with that. So we're gonna make now we're gathering all that stuff. Alright. I'm gonna hit spacebar and the dwarves will start working. 
So the guy with the pick is going to start to mine. Now this is sand. The good thing about it being sand is that um, I can farm it. So that's good. This guy's doing some digging. Oh, we got some rock already. So this is interesting. I'm going to... Oops. I don't know what I'm doing there. But it's okay. Alright, so the animals should be... Let me just pause for a second. I'm going to look at my roster. Pets, livestock... So we got a couple of dogs with us. We got some cats. We got a chick. We have a one hump camel. Like we bought, we brought some weird stuff with us. I honestly, you know, whatever. But there's, there's. Hopefully they'll graze in this area and and survive because the animals came in before in my other fortress and that didn't go well. To set up a zone and this is going to be the meeting area this is where my dwarves will come in and chill a little bit it's also the first place where visitors to the fortress will come all right so but the horde, all right, so why aren't the animals, maybe the animals are just acclimating, that's fine. They should go out to the pasture and graze at some point. All right, so now, now everybody's chilling here. Time to offload some crap. So I'm going to pause again. Um, I think what we'll do is rather than build a bunch of stuff on this level, we're going to, we're going to go, we're going to go down. So... Yeah, that's 48. That's 49. Okay. I'm building some stairs. So 47. We're going to dig a few levels down. Just to get some verticality in there. F1 brings me back to the wagon, which is... I see he's digging stairs already, so that's fantastic. Alright, I'm going to pause again. And then what I'm just going to do is around each stair area, I want to dig a little bit of an open area so we can see what's what. Because what I really want to do... Is, is set up the quarters and all the fancy stuff underground. Like, not just at the main level. And some of the reason is because this is sand. I can use the sand to do farming. I can grow underground crops on sand without having to make muddy soil. Which is something that you do have, to, which is something you have to do normally. And I don't feel like messing around with that. Alright, we got a lot of wood that's been cut down. That's great. All right. So time to get to work here. We're going to pause again. So on this level... Oh, he's doing a lot. He's Let's let this guy finish doing some mining. But I'm going to go back up here. I'm going to start carving out where we're going to store things. So we'll do... We'll do a brief, we'll do a little thingy here, and then I'm going to make a big storeroom here. And believe me, this, this is actually not going to be, this is not going to be, um, how do you zoom? Okay. I need a place where they can start to put wood and also the supplies and all that other stuff. So, we're going to make a storeroom here. We're also going to do... We're going to do a storeroom here. And it looks like I'm relatively safe away from the lava. But I want this room to be fairly huge. 
because what I always end up doing is my storerooms aren't big enough. <clears throat> so I just I, I want them to totally like do some mining here, open the place up, and then have the inhabitants get all the, the stuff inside. So how are we doing? We've chopped down some trees, we got sand, we got wood. They're probably gathering food. They've got supplies on the wagon that need to come in. Okay. So there's going to be our, some storage areas here. And this guy's having to dig through stone. So what we can do, I'm going to pause again. I have seven dwarfs. This guy right here is digging. This guy right here is fishing. Everybody else is just kind of hanging out. Like Sharast right here. She just kind of hanging out. Uh, 86 years old. Wants to craft something. Wants to pray the oceanic seal. Proficient mason. Interesting. Right. So every dwarf has every dwarf has like attributes, and they might have items they they're wearing or carrying around. Um, they have skills that they're that they're either good or bad at. Right. So every all my dwarf all my dwarves have different skill sets. Now what I do probably want to do is nobles and administrators. I want to have a manager because then they can do work orders. Work orders are very important for automation and it looks like Sodell is the only one who's got relevant skills. So I'm going to make him the manager by default. He's the expedition leader. For him to do good to good do a good job at this, he needs an office. He needs a study. A meager study. These guys also are going to need quarters and bedding and stuff like that. So, so I'm going to get to that. Um, what's this messenger? Oh, no. that's I guess that's a... I don't know what that is. But there'll be some migrants that come around soon, I'm sure. Uh, that'll also be able to do some of the work. But you see, they, they, have, they have titles based on what they're good at. And when there's a job, like when there's tasks different dwarves will go and do those required tasks but the ones that are the ones that are best at the task will be the ones that that'll grab it first all right so let's see how are we let, let's continue to dig i'm talking a lot i could have had the dwarf digging but what i don't want to do is i don't want to just have the time just burn without me getting stuff done so like I said, we're going to store there, we're going to store there, blah, blah, blah. I wish I had more than one guy who could dig. Do I have... Do I have another pick? Uh... Oh, stocks, here we go. Uh, let me search for pick. these picks. Oh, it's in the wagon. So how do I give another dwarf that pick? And does the guy who's digging have a pick? Let's find out. Let's look at the dwarves. Because this is actually kind of driving me a little nuts. Let's look at him. Uh, items. Yeah, he's got a copper pick. So I'm gonna try and find. I'm gonna this 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 could be more complicated than it needs to be. I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and give one of my other guys a pick. So let's try and give one to the Mason. Uh, how do you even do that? Uh, all right, let's look at the help. Clothing. Yeah, I don't care about making new clothing. That's
Okay, this is all about military stuff. I'm going to wear it the military later because that's something I never really got good at. Hauling routes for mine cars. Okay, this is about forbidding items. Alright, hang on. So, let's see here. So I have equipment in here, but I have no idea how to give it to people. Alright. Alright, so so now I'm gonna now now I you're gonna have to excuse me for a second because now I need to, um, to to figure this out. Um, dwarf fortress giving dwarf a pickaxe. How do you do that? Let's see here. Minor one pick up pickaxe. Okay, that doesn't make any sense. Pick. Pick is a... Alright, so now I'm going to search for equipping items. Did I spell equipping right? Look at equipment. Squats. All right, maybe I got to just. Maybe the move here is to set up uh, labor for the. Right. Yeah, and I, I one of my buddies is watching right now, so this is embarrassing. Oh, miners! Only selected can do this. Okay. So. Oh, okay. There we go. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> oh yeah, she went and grabbed the pickaxe. So it was a matter of it was a matter of going into the menu saying, hey, this person can mine too. Okay. So the labor's the labor's menu is apparently pretty important. For, so for each type of work. So like woodcutters, only the selected ones can do that. Hunters, only selected planters, but everybody can plant. Okay. That okay. That makes me feel a little better because I thought I'd be have to screw. I thought I'd be having to screw around with the the military menu, and I wasn't really looking forward to that because that's always confused me a bit. I mean, I'll get to it. I'll get to it eventually. All right. Uh, okay. So now they're mining happily. That's good. Need you to need you to mine a little quicker. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a stockpile. So this room's gonna be a stockpile. And we're gonna accept that. And we're gonna do ammo, animals. No, okay, we're gonna customize it. So we don't, what we don't want in here is food. We don't want corpses, because we want those thrown away. We don't want refuse. 
and we don't want stone. We're going to put stone in its own. We're going to put stone in its own pile. So this is going to be all the stuff except. Oh, we don't want wood because I want that for the carpentry. So this is going to be this is going to be generic storage. I have a plan here. Believe me. So now these dwarves, they're 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 moving stuff. Give me a like, give me a subscribe. No, I don't really give a shit if you give me a like and a subscribe. Um, then what we're gonna do is over here. All right. Now that I feel so much better now that I've got multiple miners. Like that that I'm 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 very happy about that. I know that doesn't match, damn it. Um Can I clear it if I do that? No! Uh uh I kinda wanna clear the, the mine. Oh no wait. Here we go. I just there. Okay. Oof. Okay. That'll look better. Because it'll be it'll balance. Thanos is happy. Whew, so glad I figured out how to give that miner a pick. Mid-spring. So our objectives here is we're getting the fundamental storage areas. This is going to be like my main storage area for the fortress. Where we'll put, we're going to put uh, stone and wood and then general stuff here. We're going to do, we're going to do some farm in here. But I need, I, what I'm letting these guys do is finish their digging out. And then the next floor down... We're gonna do we're gonna do some stuff with like living quarters, because I know you're all like, but Mark, where are your dwarves gonna live? So we're gonna start a dormitory there, and then we're going to we need to do a couple of other things. We're gonna we're gonna put our initial uh, woodworking shop, stoneworking shop. Brewery. Yeah. And crafter. I know I'm so close to the magma. <laughs> I'm tempting fate. Now, if you've never played this game before, one thing that's really unusual is that you cannot tell, you don't ever have direct control over units. You can only, you set up tasks, and then the dwarves do stuff when they get around to it. It's sort of like my kids. So what I think we're going to do is we're going to put stone over here. Rock and stone! And then we're going to put wood over here. We're also gonna we're gonna build some workshops. We're gonna do a uh, stone worker. It's gonna go here, and we're gonna make that. We're gonna make that out of this stone. I don't care. We're gonna make a craft station, and that's important because we're gonna build crafts that we can trade with the caravan when it comes here. We're basically gonna make trinkets. I know. Don't judge me. Trinkets! Then we're gonna do... What's she doing? Keep digging! We need to do a woodworker shop. Why is she unconscious? Oh, I guess they do sleep every so often. Yeah, I guess. I'll allow it. I'm working on getting you beds, guys. I really am. But this initial setup is taking me longer than I guess it could have. How are my livestock doing? Are they hanging out in the pasture? So they hang out in the room and starve to death. That happened with one of my forts already. I had starving animals. Maybe they hang out in that meat. Moving stuff, moving stuff. And you can see the storeroom is already pretty freaking full. 
So, and I don't know if it's a matter of I need more containers or, or what. So, so like if you're watching, this is what I'm talking about. You, just, you need a lot of storage space. And there's probably ways to make it more efficient. But these suckers are just going to have to dig. I mean, it's the way of the dwarf. So meanwhile, uh, at the stoneworker's work, can I do... All right. Oops. So, we're going to add a task, and can I make... To, can beds be out of rock? They do not seem to be able to be made out of rock. Okay, that's fine. So we're going to have to build our woodworker's workshop. Uh, carpenter. Call that the carpenter. We'll do the carpenter right here. I don't even know what the different rocks are in this scenario, so I'm just probably like using my most precious, precious rocks for. Uh, I need a still. Because they're dwarves, we're going to need to brew. Okay, bad. And I can only do it one at a time because I can't do work orders yet. Can I? No, I think I can. Okay. Make that? Yeah, we'll do ten. That's fine. that already so what happens is what after you can there's certain furniture you can only you can only place after it's been constructed Let me see. it started raining I don't care that it started raining okay. just various alerts I'm trying to keep an eye out for uh, for when I get new new dwarves beds two beds How's the digging go? The digging's going okay. All right. Uh, we're going to add a stockpile. And in here, this is where we're going to do wood. Oh, they need to finish digging it out. But I'll, I'll fix that in production. I'll make it better. With the wood here, the carpenter will be able to just pop. Right now, the carpenter has to run all the way outside and grab logs. Now the dwarves can haul it into the wood storage area and it'll be closer. I mean, not crazy closer. You want them to, to get some exercise, but you know. I feel like I'm overworking these dwarves a little bit. But they all seem to still be fairly happy. Barely happy? Why are you not happy? Well, you know, I can't. Yeah, you're just going to have to be a little bit discontent. I think what they're going to want, I need to get like a social hall for them at some point. That'll, that'll, that'll bring some dividends. In. I'm going to make them a dormitory. Right. So we're going to place structures, we're going to place furniture, bed. And I'm going to keep building after placement. That way I don't have to keep reselecting that. This is going to take care of the ones complaining that they're... That they've slept on the floor and they didn't like that. And now I'm going to... Now that I've done that, we're going to zone it as a dormitory, which basically says, hey, you can sleep here. It's, it's a public sleeping room, but it's better than nothing, you ingrateful dwarves. Ungrateful dwarves? I don't know. They could be more, they could demonstrate a little more gratitude. All right, how are we doing with the mining? Because I want to get 
I want to get to the... Okay, so they're, they're busy moving shit. They're all storing items in a stockpile. Okay. And this guy's loving life. He's just like, I'm living my best life mining. Very happy for you, little dude. Very happy for you. Alright, so... Let us... I think we're going to try and do a plump helmet farm here. We're going to dig out that out and see what we get. Worst case, I'll reclaim this meeting room because that's perfect farm space. Ugh, so much wood. Which is good, by the way. I'll have plenty of materials to build stuff for a while. Ah, oh, he's back to mining. That's a good sign. Let's go back to stockpiles. Now that this is drilled out, what I can do is I can simply repaint the stockpile. So it now covers... <laughs> covers most of it. He didn't finish mining. Why would he do that? Why would he go and mine over here? To the right. It's like when my wife starts doing something that then doesn't finish it and she goes and does something else. I'm like, why'd you do that? Just finish what you started. <sighs> Let's see, what's in this wagon? So there's still crap in the wagon. And I think some of that, some of that is probably because there's just not enough room in general storage and I never gave them a place to store food. And that's, all right, so this is where I'm going to build a fancy dwarven hall for them to gather and feast in. And I'm also going to put food storage over here, as well as a kitchen. And in fact, in anticipation of other kitcheny things, we'll drill out a couple of different. Though the workshops are three by three, that's why I'm doing that. Those are placeholders for what will eventually become like the kitchen area to prepare food and whatnot. But for now, they're finishing up digging the giant storerooms for me. They're doing exactly what I asked them to do, they're not doing it fast enough. <clears throat> they kind of are, but these are giant rooms. I, I, I really should have probably done them a little smaller. Although later I would complain and say, oh, I need I need it more space. There we go. Now you have more general storage areas. You can bring some of the crap from outside inside. It's going to fill up pretty quickly, right? Opals. Shouldn't they be over here? I don't know. Alright, and then, whoops. Zones, click on this zone, repaint it, make it big. And accept. Okay. Where'd my miners go? Oh, good. They're working on the Grand Tall. This is fantastic. Now I need them to do I need them to do this. I'm gonna need to make him an office. As well as a bedroom. This is for my manager. And then I'm going to need, whoops, I'm going to need, for him, I'm going to need a throne. And then I'm going to need a 
bad. And the bed and the throne are going to be used, so so I need to make I basically need to make an office for my manager, and then I'm going to make. Uh, let's see here, work orders. I'm going to add a work order, and I want to do it. Oops. No, 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 no. I don't want to do that. Add a work order. Search door. make rock door um and I don't need 10 right now we're just gonna make we're gonna make two right because I want I want to do doors for my manager's office one to get in and one to separate from his bedroom and his office and then we're gonna do some work orders we're gonna so, throne, make, this is for the dining room, make rock throne. Yeah, actually 10 rock thrones is fine. And then table. Want some tables for the, for the dining room. And then because statues are awesome and the, the decorating, it actually makes the, actually makes them happier. We're going to make some. Uh, rock statues and I don't think we I think we're just get, we're gonna go with five of them so I've got some work orders in place for these dwarves <clears throat> so we got a lot of people moving around and storing stuff whoops we got people still moving around and storing things we got <clears throat> How do you not have a job? What are you doing? He feels so good. Well, because he's drunk. Oh, yeah. Some of them are saying they want mugs. Let me pause this a little bit. Mug. Make rock mug. Yeah. There we go. We're going to make him some mugs. In fact, mugs break. Let's make 20 rock mugs. Why not? That way these suckers can drink as much as they want out of a mug. Who said I'm not a good dwarven overseer? Right, little guys? All right. So, so far... Is so close. That magma. I feel like I'm going to have to go up to the top of the volcano to actually use it. I think I said that already. I'm really playing with fire, literally. But I'm glad it's there. I might be able to do something where I can pipe it in. I'm going to have to read a guide or two before I even consider touching it. Alright, what happened? How could they be starved to death? Yet you, you had friggin' pastures. Ah, oh, that's terrible. Is the pasture just not set up properly? Oh no. Well, that would do it. Oops. That's that's sad. I never said that those animals should go to that pasture. So the camel starved to death inside of the house. Oh, man. 
That's rough, buddy. All right, what do we have here? Oh, we do not. This is not a good farm. So, what I need to do is now we're going to make this the meeting area. We're going to hit this zone, and we're going to delete that. That's no longer a meeting area. And now I'm going to build workshop, farming, farm plot. Because, again, I can use the sandy floor to grow stuff in here. Check out what my seed situation is. So I have pigtails, cave wheat, sweet pod. Do I have plump helmets? Okay. So I could do all, I could do a bunch of different crops. Okay. I think what I'm going to do then is we're going to. We're going to mine out here and we're going to see if we have more farmland. Because <clears throat> I just love making my guys dig, as you can see. Oh, look at that. So, so good. So good. Okay. Pause the game. Construct. Furniture. Table. Remember, I get to keep doing it. Oh, they need to build these faster. Yeah, I'm out of tables. That's all right. Now we're going to see how we did with the chairs. Uh, we're going to put a chair there. Throne. 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 Yep, out, out of thrones. Okay, that's fine. But... What we can do now is I can say this is the dining hall. Except. Right? So this is now where the dwarves, once, especially once they have furniture, they'll come here to eat and socialize. And I'll set some statues up in it and we'll engrave it too. I gotta figure out how to engrave stuff. Oh, there we go. See? first thrown in here. And what'll happen is the dwarves will come in here and they will socialize too while they're eating. So that's cool. Let me just check something. See how our tasks are doing. That's what I should look at. So we still get. Let's look at the work orders. So we're still working on making stuff. I think that means they've made. They have seven to go. I don't know what that means. I'll be honest. I, I don't have any idea what it actually means. Let's see if there's any more tables. Um, So that said three. Okay, so that's how many they have to go. Okay, so they're still they're still busily working. I think with three tables and three th three chairs in there for the moment, we're probably okay. Oh, why is that guy? What's going on here? Why is he pissy? Displeased. Let me see. I don't know how to do that. Oh, he was disgusted. Alright, so he didn't like... Alright, he's just gonna have to... He's gonna have to get over... Oh, crap! There's something... Oh, what's going on in here? Oh, no! Why is there a dead goat in here? 
Oh, that's that's not good. Uh Yeah. None. None. There should be no dead things in here. Oh god, did you see that stinking the place off? Yeah, you guys gotta get the dead goat out of the storeroom. And the dead camel! Oh my god! Get the dead camel and the dead goat out of here! Oh you gotta be kidding me. Get him on to get him on the garbage pile. I wish I could just have him throw him in the lava, but I can't. Oh my word. Just alright, okay. Let's pause the game. Uh so this is gonna be let's do pigtails. What are pigtails anyway? I know it's poor soil. What can I do? Pig tail. No, plump helmets right now. Plump helmets in the autumn. Plump helmets. This is going to be the plump helmets field. Those are basically mushrooms. And then we'll do workshops, farming, farm plot. We'll do two plots up here. Apparently, we're not doing two plots. Apparently, I need to actually... Workshops, farming, farm plot. Oh, okay. Because this has some stone. Okay, I get it. Right. So that should be two different farm plots, I think. I'm not 100% clear on that. Even though they're next to each other because I placed them separately, they should be two different distinct sand uh, plots. See, now they've planted some plump helmets there, so that's good. And you, they can both eat them and turn them into booze. And their preference will probably be to turn them into booze. Okay, so this is... Okay, this is two separate ones. So we're going to do pigtails. Pigtails. Dimple cups. And dimple cups. Why not? This one will do cave wheat. Cave wheat. Uh, dimple cups. And, uh, why not? Sweet pots. Give it a go. Plant those farms. We'll see if anything good comes of it. You guys, you really should relax on the whole dead body thing, by the way. I know that was tra traumatizing, but you'll get over it. How are we doing on making the stuff? <sighs> Could be doing better. How about a manager's office? Oh, fantastic. So, doors hatches. I want to make a door. We're going to put a door here. Doink. And we're going to put a door here. Doink. We're going to... Then go... Furniture. Chair. We're going to put a chair... Here, because that's his office. And then we need a bed here. You know what? That's fine. All right, and now we're going to zone this. So this is going to be a study, actually. Uh, here we go. And then we're going to, I get to assign it to him. Now he has an office. Then we're going to zone we get to zone a bedroom and he's also getting his own bedroom because I'm that kind of a guy. So the others can sleep in the in the barracks. Oh look, more Some migrants have arrived. Outstanding. 
<clears throat> so now, if I go to nobles and administrators, he's happy because he's got a thing. Now, bookkeeper, does anybody here... Oh, she could be the bookkeeper. What does she need? She needs a meager study. If you get a book, if you have a bookkeeper, what's cool is that you're, you then get accurate uh, records of the stuff you have. So we're going to make her a little study right here. We'll give her a door. Because, oops. Sorry, we're not getting a door. We'll give her... Uh, I was, I was going to say that the door will give her some privacy, but no, she just gets to sit on her throne and do the books. And then zone. This is an office. Accept. And then where is she? Uh, what, which, which dwarf was the bookkeeper? Oh, here she is. Right? And now, when I do stocks, we'll actually have... Like, now it tells you there's no little approximately things here. It's all... All right. All right, so we're going to do a work order here. This is going to brew drink from plan. And what we're going to do is we're going to make this conditional. We're going to add, if the amount of drinks is less than 10, we're going to brew drinks from plants. And then that, that work order will fire. Then we're going to make a work order for barrels, because drinks need to go into barrels. Barrel. So, wooden barrel some conditions on that. Empty barrels less than 10. We're going to fire it and make 10 barrels. And it checks, again, it checks it every day. So those are going to be standing work orders, which should keep us in moves. I hope. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make a zone here. Oops, not a zone, a stockpile. This stockpile right here is going to be food. Because the dining hall is right here. We want, we want, um, what do we want? We want, um, dwarves when they're hungry or thirsty to just be able to come and grab the food here and then just take it to the, to the thing. So let's see how we're doing. Tap labor. Let's let's look at brewing. Is there a brewing thing? No, it doesn't seem to be. Okay. That's fine. What's everybody up to? So they're making barrels. They're up. Oh, look, this guy's brewing. She's updating the record. So we this fortress is humming along kind of nicely and now what we need to do is we need to think about it's the summer the caravan's going to come here in the fall we want to be able to trade stuff so yes yeah, siri i'm not talking to you all right so we need to we need to do stuff here and i'm saving this means the fall this means the caravan's going to be coming shortly God, this game flies. Alright, pause in the game. So, Trade Depot. The Trade Depot is a special building that when the trade caravan comes, we, we, well, we trade. We get stuff. So my dwarves are going to build that. And then I need to do a work order. We're going to add a work order, and we're going to go uh, figures. Make stone figurine. Make 
rock figurine. And we're just gonna... I just wanna type in the number. 200. I'll do 200 figurines. And we're gonna do a check on it. We're gonna fire that off. If the amount of figurines is less than 50, then we want to fire that job off. Because we want to, we basically are making these as a trade item to sell when the caravan shows up. It, it is our industrial output at this point. And we're going to need to oh, look at the mugs. Oh my god, there's so many mugs. Why don't the dwarves take them? Right, let me see if the let me see what, what furniture we got because I feel like I use some of the tables for um, or some of the chairs especially for the uh, offices all right so we got nine tables there how are the work orders looking uh okay we need to make some more thrones okay that'll help recover from that you know what door i need a front door I, i'm just gonna make one it's even it's kind of dumb putting a work order in but it's a common screen that I can do that from because I do want to I, sh I should put a door here so that not just anything will wander in all right 34 food 76 string 26 seeds that's pretty it's not terrible And yeah, let's do this. Workshops, farming, I want a kitchen. All right, so that's the butcher, the tanner, fishery. All right, so we're gonna do the butcher. Turn that off. We're going to do workshops, we're going to do farming, we're going to do fishery to process the fish, and then we need a kitchen. To actually cook some meals, so that we can get these dwarves things other than raw food. So we need to build those. So how are we doing, dwarves? We're planning, we're making, we're doing some figurines, fantastic. He's attending a meeting with himself, apparently. Oh dear, we got some cranky ones. Let's see, why are we cranky? just be a nicer place for it. Nothing. 
after seeing the dead camel. Oh, and I need to actually get a broker. So who can be the broker? I need a good negotiator. Competent negotiator. All right, you can be the broker. I'm told you're a competent negotiator. That's the one who... who actually talks to the trade caravan. Figure... We'll move some figurines to that. Diplomacy. Let's discuss your situation. The world is the same as ever. Make requests for next year's caravan. We're just, we're, we're, we're not going to make special requests. Trade agreement strength of bonds. Please consider an import agreement next year. A need for toys is expected. Oh, so if we build toys for next year, we'll get extra money. That's good to know. Very good. Very good. Alright. So let's pause and let's see what this trade depot has. I guess we're not ready to trade yet. What is this? Why is that there and not in the refuse pile? Is that some sort of a resource I'm supposed to use? Don't know. We're not going to worry about it. Can we trade? Why can we not trade? Oh, maybe because he's moving shit. I would like to trade with the depot. Trade. I was just gonna do this automatically. That's kind of cool. We're gonna do prepare easy meal. This is more complicated than it needs to be. Um, 
I'm a, what I don't want him to do is to make is to make meals out of out of seeds. So I'm just gonna let it make some meals, <clears throat> and we'll see what we get end up with. All right, can I trade yet? Dang it! Why can't I trade? I'm not selling my hand. It's not happening. Why won't you let me talk to the depot? Like I got this broker here and I'm just like not it's not letting me uh, do anything. Do I, do I need to look this up again? Oh, this guy is like trying to spam me with uh, promoting my stuff. I don't care about him in my Twitch channel. I can't figure out why I cannot trade. But meanwhile, I've made more figurines. Let me open a new window, because I traded earlier on the Steam Deck. Dwarf, Fortress, can trade. Build a depot. Select a broker. Okay. So apparently it has to do with the broker being a dumbass. Um, where is he? Oh, there we go. That was a button. <laughs> I thought there was a status. Now the broker should be going to the depot. No, he's drinking. Is he dr at least drinking at the depot? There we go. Ay ay ay. All right. So if I trade all this stuff that's three hundred and fifty-eight in value, what do I want from these yahoos? That's always a good question, right? Probably. Seeds. 
figured like this cave weed. Let's see if there's any plump helmets. Okay. See right now the trader profit. As I select these things, the trader profit's going down. But as long as the trader makes some profit, we should be okay. Let's see if he'll do this trick. Oh, great. I bought all the plump helmets. Well, most of the plump helmets. Outstanding. I don't understand. I bought all the plump helmets. Well, most Hel of the plump Shut up, Siri. So now I'll have plenty of brew. Or plenty of stuff to, um... These are all the plump helmets I bought. my guys should be able to get they need to plan more. Actually, I think when they eat them, the seeds get created. I don't know. I got nothing. Anyway, the point is, I was able to successfully trade stuff, so that feels pretty good. Although I felt like it was also a little bit of a, of a hoo-ha. All right. What we're going to do also is we're going to make a storeroom specifically for stuff that I want to sell to the caravan. So I'm going to make a depot right here. And this is where all the figurines are going to go. This is going to be Dwarf Mart. <clears throat> It's like Walmart, but for dwarves. This will also make more stone that I can create stuff with. <clears throat> I feel like I'm doing okay here. And that's when it gets dangerous. Oh, okay, no pigtails, that's sad. Alright. So some people are rolling their eyes. Some are really happy. Did I ever get more thrones made? Yes, I did. Table. Yaha. All right, so I need one more throne. Furniture, chair, throne. And then I need some statues. Remember I made statues for to be decorative? So we're gonna do a statue there. A statue there. A statue there. A statue there. And then, oh, it's not equal. Dang it! We're going to statue here because I can. And then we're going to do, we're going to do engravings. So we need to, um, we're basically going to make this room pretty.
Basically, the dwarves are going to engrave and make the room look nice. And it'll put them in better moods. It better put them in better moods. Got a lot of work Victor doing, it looks like. Oh, yeah, and these guys are mining, so that's not helping. This is where all the figurines are going to go. Dwarf Mart. <clears throat> Welcome to Dwarf Mart. Did the caravan leave? Yep, caravan left. How nice. They planted some seeds. The merchants left. The Wolverine was fighting. Wolverines! Oh, we have more... Did we have more migrants show up? Are the migrants the ones who are in good moods? Oh, I'm sad. Why are you sad? I I can't... I, I'm, I'm, I'm working on having nice things for you guys. And you can be social with each other here. Like, no one says you can't be. Carpenter's workshop. We're gonna make some more beds. Bed, bed, bed. I want to put some more beds in the dormitory. And I think what I should probably do is the dwarves should start getting their own rooms at some point. <clears throat> but that's work. I think having them have this uh, this this nice general room here will be helpful. <clears throat> Hello, puppy dog. Oh, that's a kit. A kitty. The problem with the dwarves getting into bad moods is they'll sometimes start to cause a ruckus. And we don't want that. <clears throat> a ruckus! No, I don't want to stand up and play Dwarf Fortress. So I feel like I'm, it's almost a little too simple and straightforward. And I have to do something like figure out my military in case I'm attacked. Because if I get attacked now, I'm going to be caught with my pants down. And no one wants to see that. We're going to custom this, and this is going to be finished goods. Figurines. Goods. Try and create a squad. The hollow lands. No relevant skill.
know if they have relevant skills or not, but... So apparently I need a barracks or some bullshit like that. They're making the they're making this dining room look all nice. And then I'm going to have them engrave artwork. Because that's like killer. And then the room will look fantastic for the dwarves. And it should make them happy to have such a place to hang out. Okay. So now we're going to do engrave artwork and do some new wall. in the walls. And you see the, the insightful lice. So clicking on each section of the wall will tell me what they've will tell me what they've uh, detailed. So there's lots of art in this room. <clears throat> They're also detailing the floor. We're not messing around. Our great hall is a work of art. <clears throat> it is their chance to express themselves. And look, I think some of them might be happier now. 
or at least less cranky. I don't know. But it is winter. Winter has come. Oh, I need to repaint this so it's the full size. So Dwarf Mart's the full size. You know what? We're just going to make this be... This should just be all the finished kids. And they wanted toys, right? So that's really what my work order should be now. So we're going to cancel that. We're going to do a new work order. We're going to go toy. Where's rock? Can't do a rock toy. Well, that's a little embarrassing. Oh, there it is right there. I was going to be all like, what? We're going to go number. Oh, I went back too far. The interface is sometimes giving me issues. Make rock toy. Oh, that's not the number I want. That's not what I want to do. Fuck! Thank you. 200 rock toys. That's what I want. And then under the conditions less than 10. No, less than 50. It'll restart. There we go. Because that's what they want. They want rock toys. Did we sell all the figurines? Oh, and they're not going to move them. That's right. So what I need to do here is we need to change the stockpile settings. And we're going to clear finished goods from here. None. Because we want them moved into Dwarf Mart. <clears throat> that was our problem. Oh, look, all the wood's gone. We probably need to chop down some more. That is fine. Chop down some more, and we'll tell our fine dwarves to gather some berries and stuff, too. There we go. Just to... Restock on the wood.
Oh, that's interesting. We can do chain. You can do chains of uh, sort of where things come and go from. That's interesting. All right. Probably making these guys like do too much. Oh, look, he's playing with the toy axe. Isn't that nice? Ah, all right. So how are we doing? That looks like a penguin. It is a penguin. That is funny. Oh my word. That that is amazing. Look at that dwarven hall. That's got to be making him happy. Strike the ass. All right, so what am I going to do now? Clearly, I need to do something with these military yahoos. So let's do this. Let's dig out a section right here. No, you know what? It's not going to work because they need to sleep there too, apparently. Alright, we're going to do a barracks over here, I think. I got to figure out what the, the military stuff does. <clears throat> Military. At some point, I'm going to need to learn how to build. I'm going to have to learn how to build stuff. Oh god, the military looks so complicated. I think you need more migrants for cannon fodder. Right? Because I, I basically have 13 dwarves and one of them's a kid. So I really don't have enough to, like, have a proper military force. Oh, I'm a little worried that crap's going to attack me. Although, I don't think I'm really well known yet, so that's probably not a terrible thing. Let me look at the world map. So... stuff. I'm not doing that. And th th these are dwarves right here in the world. So that's kind of cool. So we have elves here. What do we have here? So we're at peace with the elves, although the elves can be a little... My understanding is if they come to my fort and their stuff made of wood, they might be pissy.
I'm interested what the rating is like. You got a tomb right there, so that doesn't sound great. Oh god, I could try and find artifacts and recover them. That's kind of fun. Interesting. So my place in the world... I'm basically kind of irrelevant right now, I feel. I'm okay with that. There's not a whole lot that's going to probably try and assault us. And the question is, how do we use this volcano? The volcano will become important when I start trying to do metal stuff. Which is probably something I should consider digging deeper to get to. So let's, let's actually look at that. What do we have in terms of ore? Granite. Yeah. I don't know what that actually means. War of silver, fifty percent. Yeah, so a lot of this is just like like regular stone at this point. I don't think I've struck any metal. Which makes sense. You generally have to go lower. I accidentally wiped those stairs because of that. I think I've done that before. Yeah, I accidentally overwrote the stairs with generic mining. So that's fun. See, there they go. Here they go, man. stairs. <clears throat> I 
How far can the dwarves dig? How deep will they go? giant column of lava. How can I safely use it? I don't think I can. Why don't I feel like the stockpile is getting any? Maybe that's why. There's that type. So they're moving that stuff now. How are my work orders doing? Alright. They're drinking! The dwarves are drinking! And they're moving stuff. Alright, new work order. some more beds. Alright, so I've got him a barracks. We're get we're getting there.
try that. sure I'm not really sure what they're doing if I'm honest I'm very confused Duty, stagger training, constant training, ready. I gotta be honest, I'm a little confused here. If I cancel that scheduled order, will it not do it? Oh, we're in the spring again. How exciting. I have survived a year. Because we started year 100, it's year 101. Aha!
Okay, there we go. Done, and then we're gonna copy. Because I want to do staggered train. I feel that that's probably better. Because it'll free them up to do other things. Dabbling actual. All right, so they seem to be training every so often. But other than that, okay. All right. I, I, I'm going to have to read up on the military stuff. And I know I sat there clicking and doing things, and that was probably a little boring. But so it goes. Okay. Let's see. 925. Play it a while. All right. So I technically have a squad training now. So I have a military. So that's good. are not in the miners are not in the squad. Don't do that. How are the work workers doing? So those are ongoing. We got some easy meals being made. We got rock toys being made. Okay. <clears throat> so we're doing good. So objectives, we want, we got 100 food, 40 drink, we don't have any meat, we're out of, we're out of fish. Okay. And so that, that leads me to this issue. So this guy is... Okay, this guy is fishing. Okay, good. Good. You go fish, because we want you to fish. Oh, boy, dwarves. So military's gone. I got... My food is at least staying steady, if not going up. How's storage capacity looking? Raw materials are looking pretty good. Food storage is there. They're mostly, the guys are mostly happy. It's almost like I'm waiting for more stuff to happen. Who's this guy? It's such a joy to be with people. Where does it show her current mood? Yeah, poor social awareness. Yeah. yeah. All right. It's weird I haven't had very many migrants. Maybe I should try and do. Oh, dungeons. I don't think I need anything like that. 
Let's get some of these other things here. Yeah, we're not going to worry about a justice system quite yet. We're going to just let these guys kind of be. I kind of want to... But I'm also... No, I need to make one first. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'm just going to put a weapon rack in here. Oh, why am I paused? They keep it des they, you can designate them for any meeting area or tavern room. Hmm. Interesting. So apparently, if I so desire, could make a new okay all right okay <clears throat> so this is exciting this is something I might do I can declare that Let's do this. Some of these guys have complained that there's no temple. So let's try and do a temple. Give these dwarves something to, to get all dwarvish about. All right. Which means I probably need like an altar. So 
let's see. Oh, look at that. I don't need ten rock altars. I'll make two. In fact, while I'm looking it up, we'll do Dwarf Fortress Temple. Uh, just to make sure I don't get myself into like some sort of demon worshipping thing. I think I want this to be a little bigger. It says 25, 25 squares. So let's make it 25 squares. I feel like I feel like the death chaos one like if I make it to him like I got eight dwarves who worship him but that's death and chaos I don't know if that's a good thing I feel like that could be terrible All right, so we need instruments. All right, so we need to craft some stuff. We'll do that. Chests. Instrument. Uh, 
I don't even know what. Yeah, okay, we'll make drums. I don't... I, I don't know. I got nothing. Oh, he's happy. I know. I'm working on making a better temple for you. So I wonder if they'll end up. So he's making a drum. Okay.
All right, we need to get these guys proper bathrooms now. So I think it's time to There's no drink. No. How did that happen? Wait a minute. What happened to all the... F did we cook? Oh my god. I think we cooked all the friggin... Did we cook the all the oh we cooked we must have cooked the mushrooms. Oh my word. Um All right, so we need a new, a new work order. We need to brew drink from fruit. God, we need drinks. Oh, my word. Because without, without booze, these dwarves are going to be insane. was so busy working on the altar and stuff that I let them use up or on the temple that I let them use up all the stuff I need 14 beds uh, work order bed there we go <clears throat> oh this is not good Dwarves without, without, ah, good. Oh, drink, five. Oh, bless you, bless you. Yeah, ooh. That could have gotten bad. Which seeds is he planting? Most of them are happy. Come on. Most of them are happy. You got to admit that. Oh. That was so close. So close to a disaster. Let him. 
So now what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to make sure that I have a bunch of plump helmet seeds. And what I have to do is I have to figure out how to, how to not brew using the plump helmets because or not cook using the plump helmets. And we'll assign it to a dwarf. The bookkeeper can have it. Let's bet this one right here. It's going to be a bedroom. Sign a dwarf. The broker can have it. Bedroom. This miner can have that one. See, now we're, we're just giving all of them a the room. Carpenter can have that one. We need more beds, furniture, bed. Two more beds are ready. More beds are ready. They're cranking them. Who's ever, who's ever in the workshop is doing a great job. <clears throat> See, by the drawers having their own bedrooms, they'll probably be happier. I hope, anyway. Because some of them were complaining about that a little bit. I need to make sure of something here. Nice. We have an artifact. <clears throat> Looks like someone crafted an artifact.
Alright, so let's see. The militia commander can go there. Or he can sleep in the barracks. I don't care. But he does get his own order regardless. No migrants, that's not good. I mean, it's good in the sense that I won't be overwhelmed, but bad in the sense that I really could use the population. <clears throat> Oh, good. What's going on with this adder? Apparently it was fighting one of the fisher dwarves. I really have to figure out how to restrict the use of certain things. Oh, they've got the work barrel to do the bar work. Yeah, they make barrels when they're. Oops. Yeah. All right. So the drink brewing is happening. So that's good. What the heck am I doing? I feel like I get lost every so often and forget what I'm doing. All right, there we go. All right. With these in place, I should have all bedrooms for everybody. Except a sign to a dwarf. Zone. Bedroom. Meager quarters. You know what? Get over yourselves. Meager quarters. You'll take your meager quarters and like them. Alright, everybody has a bedroom. But I'm just zoning them as bedrooms anyway, so that I can later, as we get some birds, as we get some... Am 
migrants, whatever, they can have their own rooms. And everybody has a bedroom now! Yay! All the dwarves. Okay, the training again. He's worshipping. I really need to figure out how to make sure that these people, that they're not turning certain things into, into food that you be drink. All right, so I think this has been a pretty good initial run on the fortress. I am going to call it for now. So we're going to save and return to the title menu. If you've stuck with me, oh, look. If you stuck with me, I appreciate it. Um, but yeah, that was fun. Again, I know I spent a lot of time sometimes just staring at the screen, but and and sometimes pointlessly babbling, but I had a good time. All right, uh, with that, I'm going to... And I never hit the record button, damn it, so this is just on Twitch. Ah! With that, I'm going to end the stream, and everybody have a good one.